It's France, down below. When somebody comes to your page, they land on your page, they are coming from outer space, they don't want to read. You spent all this time writing, and they don't want to read it. The first question most people have is, am I on the right page? So they want to know, what's the topic? And to find that out, they scan. They don't read, they scan. They look at stuff like the major headings, the caption under picture. They get more out of the caption than the pictures. They look at subheads. They look at boldface terms. They look at link text. All of that gives them a clue as to what the topic is. In other words, those are key words. They pop out at you, and the brain assembles them as if it were trying to make sense of it. It is trying to decide, what is this page about? So your brain is a thesaurus, or part of it works like a thesaurus. It says, are these terms all related? Do they all form a group in some way? Do they fall into some category? Just as when you look up a word in a thesaurus, you see all the related terms, the synonyms, the somewhat related terms, the terms that are connected in some way but not too closely, narrower terms, subsets of it, broader terms that include the term. In other words, the brain is going through very swiftly calculations about what category does this topic fall into? Is it all coherent? And if so, the brain goes to the next step, which is, okay, that's the topic, but what are you saying about it? In other words, here's an example. Let's say you look at a page and you scan through the boldface terms and the headings and subheads, and it says, that you see words like dig and strata and bones and fossils and geology. Pretty soon, your thesaurus brain is beginning to think, okay, this, this is something about archaeology. They're digging up bones somewhere. Okay, so it's coherent. And I can say, yeah, that's a topic I want to care, I am looking for, or it's completely the wrong topic, so I can leave. That's a benefit. Even if it isn't a benefit to you, it's a benefit to the user to say, I'm not going to waste my time reading this. It's not the topic I'm interested in. Okay, so now they've scanned and they've picked up basically what it's about. The next question that people have subtly, unconsciously is, what's the point? What's the purpose of this page? What are you trying to say? And again, their scanning endeavor gives them a clue as to that. If, you, if the terms that you've emphasized by boldfacing and putting in subheads actually telegraph what you're saying, your main idea, people will be grateful. Because in scanning it, they get the gist of the article. Maybe they don't even have to read it. Now, from a writer's point of view, it's heartbreaking to think, they got the point, but did, they didn't read my prose. From a user's point of view, that may be enough. If your point is really significant to them and they want to read more, now they descend down to, to the ground level and actually read it. But for many people, scanning may be enough. Now let's say there's they, they think, okay, the, I get the topic and I get the main point, I want to read, but I want to get a, a sense of how this is organized. So the third thing that people get out of scanning is some sense of structure. They look at the, the headings in sequence, and they say, oh, first you cover this, then you cover this, then you cover that. This isn't conscious. It's unconscious. It's a sense of, oh, I see the general structure. Or you've set up a debate. There's A versus B, candidate A, candidate B alternating back and forth. Okay, that's the general structure. Or there's a main idea, an example, example, example. So you're, you're helping them grok the overall structure, which reinforces the point that it's moving toward within that topic or subject matter. So you want to write so that your work can be scanned. Because before people read your work, they're going to use it. 
you have to make your your web prose useful for someone who's scanning. It is a plus from a user's point of view if they scan and realize, not for me, I'm out of here, back button. Now, we don't like that, but from their point of view, if you've made it scannable, you've made it more usable for their purposes, and they can get out of there, or they can come down from outer space and read every word of your precious prose. It's up to you. If your prose is unscannable, just a solid block of text with no openings, no air in it, they may hit the back button without even scanning it. It just looks bad. It looks like a gray haze of mosquitoes. They're not going to read it. They won't even scan it. So if scanning makes your text appealing, it, it seems approachable, it seems like I can dive into it. And after I've scanned, I may, if you're good, I may actually.